it's been raining. Last Monday, we put this bar on there so that we can stiffen up this frame and also mount a mini winch so that I can suck down the rear when I'm going down hills. We've got this thing all the way down with the springs off so that whatever we build, it, we know is not gonna contact the bottom of the truck bed. The bottom of the truck bed is about flush with the top of this frame. So anything we build above this is either gonna have to go through the truck bed or is gonna have to be moved downward. Now, earlier this year, somebody commented on one of my videos that I should make some gussets or support these Clayton brackets somehow so that it keeps them from bending upward. And so I need to make some triangles to go on either side of that to box these in fully. And then we're going to install these shock brackets between this rectangular tubing I installed last week. I'm going to make these gussets. I'm back to using the foam board again. That way I can use this right angle inside there. And I can draw, I can draw a mark here and here. And then I'll slice it right there and that'll be my gusset. And I'm going to assume that the two rear ones are the same. And I'll make a separate one to the other side. Super easy stuff. This doesn't have to be precise. All right, now I'll go transfer these shapes onto some metal and I'll cut them out. Okay, got some triangles here. Got one that goes right here. That'll get well in. One longer one on the back side. Looks like I measured them right. Now I gotta go sand these up so that I can weld them onto that thing. Basic idea, just boxing in this whole thing with a gusset. I'm going to do all four sides, and we'll come back and we'll look at these shock towers. All right, so now that we've got all these gussets in on all four corners of those spring mounts, clean this up a little bit and we'll work on getting these shock towers put in. I picked these up off the marketplace. I plan on sticking these up through the bed and mounting them right here. And it's going to put my shocks at a little bit of a backward angle, but I'll be able to put a lot longer shocks on to get more travel on the back. Right away, looking at this, I know that uh, I have a nice flat spot right here to weld this on. So I can go ahead and cut these little ears off the bottom and I can weld this straight to the top of that like that. So let me get these cut and I'll, I'll come right back. That looks amazing. Um, these are gonna get braced up to the cage after I build it. Right now I'm just gonna get these welded on then we can move on to another project. Now that these are on, I can measure from my shock mounting point to the shock mounting point on the axle and finally order up some shocks for the rear and I'll get a good idea on what kind of travel I'm going to have in the back. I'm hoping, I'm hoping to have at, at least uh, 16 inches of travel at the wheel, but that's about all I have for this week. Join me next Monday and we'll work on another project. Who welded this? <laughs>